Welcome back to a new video from Isaac Albany Secondary School Visual Arts Classroom. Uh, today we are going to learn how to divide a circle into 10 equal parts. As you can see, we have already drawn a vertical diameter AB and a red line, as we uh, know from dividing any kind of segment. The first thing we have to do is just choose any measurements, uh, seldom. Uh, so it's up to you how long is going to be this first uh, measurement. Once you have decided the uh, seldom your first uh, measurement, don't change it. And of course, we are going to repeat with the compass over the red line ten times the same theme. We got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So uh, you can tell here that uh, I fell short from uh, the line the red line so it's it's it doesn't matter you just take your ruler and just extend the line as long as you need uh, it's it's up to you it doesn't matter uh, it, it doesn't have any any result any influence over the final outcome you are looking for um, another point is um, I'm going to stress on this for us for you with the marker as usual uh, these two points the first is, is the second point number two this is point number ten so uh, it, it doesn't matter whether the, 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 the this last point point number ten um, falls inside the circle over the circle or even outside the circle because the only thing you have to do I'm going to to make it a little bit closer to the real point is just join point 10 to point B so this is going to be it's it's uh, up to the to the position of a point 10 that this line the pink one is going to change uh, direction over the the space over the sheet uh, so it, it it doesn't matter. Don't don't be afraid of that. Uh, we're going to keep going. Just uh, working with the set square. You in your case, please always work with both rulers. I mean the the set square lines that are going to be parallel to 10 B from every division we uh, got at the first over the red line. So let's let's start. Of course, I'm not working with the set square but you will do that because it's the right thing to do uh, I cannot here because of the uh, software features but keep that in mind never work parallel lines without the set square so I'm almost finished Yes, uh, we're done. Uh, next, next step to take is just place the compass on point B. Open it. Uh, sorry, I'm going to rotate it. Yes, until point A. Yes, I'm going to be more accurate, as carefully as I can, and I'm going to to draw this arc. So it's going to be from point a one arc from point b, sorry from point b and from point a as well the same radius it's a good practice to make sure that it is the same length i mean the whole diameter sorry so that that's why i'm going to yes to take the the whole diameter from point b so that i get outside the circle always outside 
this point this we are going to label it as usual point P well let me show you right now the next step is I'm going to set aside the, the, the compass uh, joining point P to the second division but the second division on the diameter AB you will extend this line, the green line until this point, this point is going to be Q, Q1 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 this is the first division over the circle and in order to keep working I'm going to make sure I'm I have the right measurement so this one yes and uh, you need to transfer the measurement over the circle one two three and from point A that's the other way around one two three and four so uh, let me check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, usually this uh, point B is also uh, part of the divisions these two ones are going to be a little bit smaller than the others it's very difficult to especially when you don't work with the uh, set squares as I did uh, this is a problem of accuracy lack of accuracy so that's why I took I'm going to take or you to as well uh, take point B as a reference uh, of the whole thing uh, it, it's something very inevitable uh, because of this lack of accuracy try to, to work always uh, with the set square uh, we uh, did it uh, and uh, we already know that these two last divisions are not uh, equal but it's something that is very uh, difficult to, to fix so let's uh, leave everything this way f by now but I uh, beg you to and of course I advise you, recommend, strongly recommend you to work with the set square especially while working the lines, the parallel lines so that's all, uh, we will finish everything in a, next, in, in a different video uh, so uh, goodbye